give. So how'd that go again? I rode my bike home on fractured pavement, avoiding the sectioned existence of the homeless population balancing on a tile. Broken spirits line the concrete as glass and flesh alike mixed in front of the same liquor store. Someone asks, yo, you got a dollar? A modest request considering organic stores loom over their heads while they dream. Within the wilting land of oak, you'll find that chronic mental illness is in the helix. Blood turns to lead, empathy to apathy, rooted by repressed trauma no one cares to understand. 25% of the homeless population have some form of mental illness. The only hindrance being portrayal controlled stillness. The world was ending, but theirs was already red dust in the back of some Nike Airs. Homeless encampments serve as landmarks where I'm from. The aftermath of dealing with gentrification, that everything has been done already to help them. The changing narrative of us versus them. That like, we must save them. Yeah, this, mm. they are the ones to blame for their own consequences. Those beliefs are just as ingrained in us as the pigments in our own skin. That's right. The same thinking that perpetuates this country's house and years, justifying the violent erasure of history as people of color, until there's just a pale singularity in the reflections. How is it all connected? Well, failing to understand that stress management is a luxury given to those on the opposite side of Du Bois's veil. Drug overdoses up 42% in 2020, with the largest increases among Black and Latino communities. Damn. To the kids of darker complexion, we were not built for all-American wonderland. The distortion and connection means we're not focused on community. Individualism is not how we should stand. Mm. But what about the vaccine? A trade-off to the marginalized. Mm. A willingness to forgive atrocities, experiments, and a profit for protection against the virus. But hey, to breathe again. See the vibrant souls of my town pulsate through murals on the wall, while shelters implement vital stratagems to reach the homeless. 95% efficacy, 100% effective in preventing serious illness and death. And though immunity from COVID-19 is only the initial shot for my people from Oakland to Stockton, a vaccinated future contains the power to reconnect, while enabling the unification of raised fists against the establishment, to brush off the societal cobwebs we find ourselves in, ripping the generational adhesives between the ill-fitted labels, to honor bladed birthdays, holidays, and weddings, caught in the whirlwind of the past two years. We'll catch up when all this is over. It turns to see you at seven. And just like the evenings of first Fridays, enamored by the passionate souls in my community, I'll be there with a delayed embrace, prepared to march alongside you tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan.